In this video, we will illustrate how query rules can be used to interpret the user queries and apply refinements based on that. This approach is different from merchandising in that we are not micromanaging placement of single products, but instead we want to interpret queries to help the user and the engine communicate better. A typical use case? I know that when users type this keyword, it would provide better results to automatically refine to this or that attribute that I know already exists in my dataset. Let's see a couple of examples. Because of the way records are structured and words composing some key attributes like name and categories can be very close, there will always be edge cases where it will be hard to show the most relevant results first, even with a good ranking configuration. When typing phone on our demo website, I do have a couple of telephones showing up in the first results. I know my users are much more likely to be searching for a smartphone than a landline telephone. To solve that issue, I will add a query rule triggered by the keyword phone, and as a consequence, I will push results belonging to the cell phone category. To do that, I will add a query parameter and set it to optional filters on the category cell phones. Now, as soon as I've typed phone in the search bar, results from the cell phone category are boosted, and on the first page, we don't see any old telephone. Telephones are still part of the result set, as it's not a hard filter, but they are simply pushed further down the list. An interesting use of query rules is when users employ a form of natural query that would typically doesn't match anything in your dataset. For instance, querying for cheap headphones Nothing in my current dataset is able to match the keyword cheap because it is not a quality identified in any of my products. One of the reasons is that cheap is a subjective characteristic and it can mean very different things from a product category to another. Having it inside the record itself could become hard to manage. The solution here is to interpret that by cheap on these specific product categories, users generally want products costing less than X dollars. And that's something we can easily achieve by filtering our results. Here's how we can proceed. I create a new query rule, add the term cheap as the query pattern. As a consequence for that rule, I will add a query parameter, filters, to filter on the price attribute and setting it below 100. Finally, I will add a second consequence to remove the keyword chip as it will not match in a lot of product and will potentially introduce noise. Now let's see the rule in action with the keyword headphones. Same principle works for other keywords like best. Instead of filtering on price, we can interpret that best in the user query means product with the best rates and therefore choose to refine results showing only the best 5-star rated products. So let's create this new rule. It's going to be very similar to the previous one. As a query pattern, I set it to best. Consequence, I'm adding add query parameter and I set it to filters. And I want to filter on the rating attribute that is equal to 5. Getting back to the website, here if I'm looking for headphones, I still have the same results. Entering best headphones, I see that I only have five star products, whereas before the first one was rated four stars. The nice thing is that rules can play well together. Now, if I'm adding chip to my query, I only have results that are five star rated and with a price below 100. These are only a few examples, and this interpretation exercise can be translated to many other use cases, colors, age, etc. We've seen in these few examples that query rules can be very helpful in providing better results to users by interpreting and reshaping queries behind the scenes or applying automatic filtering.
One thing to keep in mind is that query rules must be used only for cases where traditional ranking has no solution. This in general represents a small amount of queries in the end. For more information about query rules, you can head over to our docs at this address. Thank you for watching.